And, and Mars is the next uh, natural step. Um, in fact, it's the only planet we really have a shot at, at establishing a self-sustaining city on. SpaceX Transporter 2 launched on June 30th, the second in the transporter ride-sharing series. The third Dragon 2 cargo trip to the ISS slash SPX-23 under the Commercial Resupply Services 2 contract occurred on August 29th. Inspiration 4, the first orbital private trip with four people, was launched on September 15th, although it did not dock with the ISS. The third operational crewed Dragon 2 journey to the ISS occurred on November 10th, 2021. On the 23rd of that same month, NASA launched the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART, the world's first deflection mission. While the X-ray polarimetry explorer for NASA was launched on December 9th, 31 orbital Falcon 9 missions were successful, beating the 2020 record of 25 orbital launches. 17 successful Starlink launches breaking the previous record of 14 in 2020. 30 Falcon 9 first stages were safely landed, 29 on drone ships and one returned to the launch site. During the landing attempt, a single Falcon 9 first stage was lost. Only two of the 31 Falcon 9 first stage flights took place for the first time. How is SpaceX able to win multiple billion dollar contracts from the governments when things are so competitive in this industry? Well, for example, SpaceX was able to offer what most other bidders can't in 2021 when SpaceX was awarded NASA's Human Landing Systems contract worth $2.9 billion. The aim was to convert a starship to land on the moon, with humans arriving in lunar orbit on an SLS flight. NASA is not only moving forward and expanding on the successful use of commercial launch services to feed the ISS, but it has also committed to in-orbit refueling on a vital mission. NASA has avoided depending on in-orbit refueling, although this capacity is critical to our future in space. SpaceX has now built several starships and numerous test versions of the Super Heavy rocket, as well as an intricate launch tower with arms to capture the returning booster. SpaceX is waiting for FAA approval for an orbital launch while doing ground testing and static burns of several starships and Super Heavies. In all, SpaceX had an excellent year, nearly definitely its best ever. It will amaze you that, despite a few setbacks with Falcon 9 launch delays and Starship testing disasters, SpaceX was able to break the record for most launches in a calendar year by a single rocket type, while making significant progress towards getting the successor vehicle off the ground. Last year alone, three Crew Dragon spacecraft and two Cargo Dragons. The Axiom-1 mission, which passed on C-206 Endeavour in 2022, made history as the first private crewed voyage to the International Space Station. It took out on April 8th and landed on April 25th after a week of delays due to poor weather in the Atlantic and Gulf of Mexico. The Falcon 9 Block 5, SpaceX's current operational workhorse, launched 60 times in 2022, with all flights successfully completing their missions. This cadence has established the all-time US and global record for single-type flights in a calendar year. The previous record was achieved by the Soviet Soyuz-U rocket in 1979, when 45 of 47 launches were successful. Ship 24, the starship currently slated to undertake its maiden orbital voyage, was also extensively tested this year, and not without problems. The ship was launched on May 26th and had its maiden static test fire on August 9th. On September 8th, a six-engine test firing caused a massive grass fire and damage to the ship's bottom hull. As you can see, it wasn't always perfect, but Elon Musk and his team never failed to continue trying to make the launch a successful mission. Elon Musk's most ambitious SpaceX vehicle yet, the Starship is getting ready to launch again. The FAA granted a mitigated finding of no significant effect for the Starbase launch site paving the door for preparations for the Starship orbital test flight. Before a launch license may be issued, 75 mitigating actions must be completed. SpaceX planned a 33-engine spin prime test as part of its launch preparations after releasing Booster 7, the scheduled first orbital flight booster. The rocket needed to be repaired when a flattened downcomer happened during a cryogenic proof test on the pad. Further preparations were required before the test could begin. Everything was finally ready for the prime spin test on July 11th. 
This includes spinning up the liquid oxygen turbo pump without actually igniting the fuel. The prime spin test began with a massive emission from the 33 engines, followed by an explosion underneath the orbital launch mount caused by excess methane during the engine cooling process. This explosion damaged the orbital launch platform and part of the booster's engines. Booster 7 was returned to the manufacturing site for repairs, as were the Mechazilla arms and the OLM. The rocket finally fired its first engine on the OLM, and SpaceX gradually increased the number of engines fired for a longer time. This year we are going to see the most advanced Starship orbit launch everyone has been waiting for. SpaceX does not always do what is expected of them, but sometimes even can't even be expected from Elon Musk's company. In addition to the Galaxy 31 and 32 satellites, SpaceX launched the Nilesat 301, SES-22, Galaxy 33 and 34, Hotbird 13F and 13G, and Utelsat 10B satellites into geostationary orbit in 2022. Satellite operators' C-band clearance effort will continue in 2023, with spacecraft such as Galaxy 37, SES-18, and SES-19 on the launch schedule for next year. Other geostationary missions will transport satellites to Europe, the Middle East, Latin America, and Asia-Pacific. 2022 saw the expansion of the Starlink broadband constellation, with Shell 4 receiving the most attention. The Falcon 9 has also been chosen for several lunar and planetary missions, scientific missions, and small satellite rideshare flights. Transporting the South Korean Danuri Lunar Orbiter, the country's first lunar spacecraft, the NASA SWOT Surface Water Survey Satellite, the Japanese Hakuto-R Lunar Lander Mission, and three transporter rideshare missions flying numerous tiny satellites into orbit were significant highlights of the last year. Is that the only thing the Falcon can do? You know it can be used in more advanced missions than ever before. SpaceX has been testing many things recently, and finally we can say that Booster 7 testing concluded with a 14-engine test fire and a long-duration 11-engine test last November. The 11-engine test lasted 13 seconds and was the last before the launcher was returned to the manufacturing site for launch preparations. On December 15th, the ship was repaired and a successful single-engine static test firing was performed. Ship 24 was placed atop Booster 7 in October to test the whole Starship system. This involved many cryogenic proof tests and testing and adjusting the system's alignment. Booster 9 is now being proof tested on one of the suborbital pads, while Booster 7 is preparing for the crucial 33-engine static test fire and orbital flight test. Booster 10 is still being constructed, whereas Ship 25 has been finished. Whatever the outcome of the orbital flight test, other spacecraft are ready to begin flight testing.